What's going on guys? It's Humble Zeus here bringing you another commentary that you guys like so 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 much. And I apologize for last week. Last week was really weird. YouTube was being super super stupid. Like just terribly stupid. Nothing was going up when it was supposed to. It wasn't letting me upload videos. Thumbnails were being weird. Nothing was working. So I apologize for that and without further ado, I know I don't want to spend too much time apologizing because I do that all the time anyway and it's getting annoying. Uh, let's jump right into today's commentary because I think it's actually a really interesting commentary and a really important commentary to me now that I think about it. So Gangs is commentary. Here. I want to mention that it didn't come from me trying to jump on some kind of trend or, you know, gain views and likes by pretending to care about this topic or anything in particular. It's more just, I just want to bring it to your attention and see what you guys think because YouTube is kind of that method where I share things with you and I want to know what you guys think and feel about certain things. So I take in, um, in my junior year, I take an AP course called AP Environmental and if you do want to take that course, know that if you think there's good in the world and you're very optimistic, taking that class will shatter that instantly. Like it's just a very depressing course, but it's also a very informative of course, so if you do have a chance to take it and you really do think it'll fit you, then definitely take it, do some research on it. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you'll hate it, I don't know, I'm just telling you about it. Anyway, it's not the big deal. The big point of it is that there was a presentation at my school, uh, somebody from a college came over, they talked to us about environmental change and balances in the world, you know, how the world will balance itself out over time and so forth and so on. And he mentioned like a lot of things, something that he said that really stuck with me and that kind of made me form my own ideas and really reflect on how I've done things um, in the past. And this was because, like, again, it's environmental science. Environments, as you can tell. It's more like he mentioned that, you know, as humans, we're very special in that sense that we can see problems and then we have the ability and the numbers to change things drastically if we wish to. You know, like, if we don't like something, we will fight it and we will figure out ways to fight it. And I think I think one of the best uh, examples is, like, the net neutrality laws that try to get, you know, passed and whatnot that's saying, like, oh, maybe we should hand over all this power to companies rather than, you know, leave it free. And we'll fight that. Like, we are willing to fight that. And I'm pretty sure if it got passed, there would be riots because we wouldn't, we couldn't tolerate that. And I think that's so special, but at the same time, I realize that when it comes to certain things, when it comes to, you know, things that might affect us in the long term, we take such a very lackadaisical approach to it. We just don't care. And I feel so, you know, it's hard to say out loud that, you know, the environment doesn't matter, like, to us. And I'm not saying that it doesn't. I'm saying that someone who wasn't on this planet could look at us and be like, you really don't give a shit about the environment that you live in, do you? And then people would be like, yeah, we do. You don't do anything to stop it like you know people will be like I think there's a debate going on whether or not to like blow up a mountain because there's oil in it and it'll disrupt the natural habitat and I'm just like so leave it alone people are like we need oil and I'm like so someone from outside would be like you don't give a shit do you and I, and I mean I have to concur we don't give a shit half the time yes there are people who will stand outside in the freezing cold and tie themselves to trees and be like don't cut down even a single tree in this forest they'll have to cut through us and you know I mean that's admirable I, can't, I couldn't convince myself to do that I wouldn't jump in front of a buzz saw you know for a tree it just won't happen. But I admire the people who do it, not because I think they're smart, I think it's incredibly stupid to do so, but because, you know, they, they took action. And that's kind of what this commentary is really about, taking action when you know there are things that need to be done instead of pawning it off to somebody else. I think it's a big mentality amongst a lot of people is someone else can handle it. True, someone else can handle it. But why can't that someone be you? Because someone right before you probably thought, someone else can handle it. So if they're thinking someone else can handle it, and you're thinking someone else can handle it, who's gonna handle it? You know, I mean, we can't keep poning things off to other people. And that's kind of why I, I, when I look at, you know, the past decision made by generations before us, I know our generation is not perfect. When I look at the things like the world that the previous generations left to us as a young kid at 16 years old, I'm like, you left us a pretty shit world, you know, to inhabit. And I'm not saying that I'm new, I'm privileged. I have like a PS4, I have a laptop, I have internet, I have all these things. But at the same time, the world that I live in is like, you know, constantly like at the brink of war, our environment and shit, you know, there's a lot of things wrong, and I can only think of, you know, you don't have to be around to deal with it. Even my biology teacher, my old biology teacher was like, I feel sorry for you because I'm gonna be dead and I won't have to deal with any of this shit. And she was very honest about it, and we're just like, that's really not cool. Like, we are inheriting a world that the generation before us, you know, didn't give that much of a shit about at the time. Until later on, where they're like, holy shit, we really need to, and I know I'm swearing a lot because I'm very vocal about this. Uh, I care a lot about the environment, even though I myself am realizing that I'm not the most active in it. I do try to do small things like recycle, uh, save power, you know, by turning things off, even though I am a YouTuber who relies heavily on electronics, you know, but I, I come to realize that we do notice things. We notice issues. We 
we can we all we're the first people to jump on our government when they do something stupid or you know when they're not taking action or when they take the wrong action we're the first people to jump on them for that or jump on the president or whoever made an order to do something we're, we're so ready and willing to jump on each other for small things but when it comes to a big thing that really takes a global effort we just want to we just we don't want anything to do with it we want to pass it off because no one wants that responsibility we'll be like i'm sympathetic to that call when an oil spill happens oh my god look at the poor ducks covered in tar and oil and it's like oh you know we'll we'll fund relief efforts for like what a few months and then we won't do anything else again we're like that's our that's our economic deed for the rest of our lives i'm like that's not enough like you know that wouldn't have happened if we didn't have a reliance on oil i'm like jesus christ you know take some responsibility for this and i'm not saying you have to take responsibility for everything like you know there are some things that are completely out of your control there are times where you just can't do it i understand that i'm just saying you know really think about where you are and what you can do and you know everyone's like oh i'm just one person everything kind of starts off with one person you know people who made fire was just one person probably rubbing sticks together or saw lightning hit something we saw fire and then one person did it then you know like it's just one person it doesn't mean everyone that was going to use fire it's like i'm just one person everyone's not going to do the same thing i do and then all of a sudden everyone's using fire you know because we needed it and we need our planet and we need so many other things but we're just turning a blind eye to everything so when i make this commentary i really mean take action and take you know responsibility for the world you live in and the things that you want to do and the things you want to leave behind so i hope you guys enjoyed this commentary i really like making it i think it's a really good commentary hope you guys really enjoyed it please leave a like comment and if you really enjoyed subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video zeus out